Digital anchor Christine Varconi joining us now from the NBC 4i Streaming Center. She's taking a look at the stories making headlines online this midday. Hi, Christine. Hey, good morning, Brad. Happy Friday to you. The House passed a bill this week that would direct President Joe Biden to prepare a report on the government's efforts to collect and examine evidence related to war crimes and other atrocities committed during Russia's invasion of Ukraine. <laughs> Trending on NBC4i.com right now is the list of the six Republican representatives, including one from Ohio, who voted against the bipartisan legislation. Southeastern Ohio Congressman Warren Davidson voted no, alongside Representatives Andy Biggs, Paul Gosar, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Thomas Massey, and Scott Perry. A spokesman for Representative Liz Cheney said she mistakenly voted against the bill and plans to tell the House clerk that she meant to vote in favor of it. You can read more on NBC4i.com. In the top trending social media story right now, Betty White's estate is set to go to auction. The 1500 item collection will include her wedding ring and memorabilia from the Golden Gor Girls, according to the auction house. Julian's auctions confirm that the auction will take place online and in person in Beverly Hills on September 23rd through the 25th. To see all the items included in it, you can go to NBC4i.com. And it was an icy afternoon in January when a car slid into a fiberglass statue of Brutus Buckeye outside College Traditions on Lane Avenue, leaving the mascot with a pair of cracked legs. NBC4 Digital reporter Cynthia Rossi posted the story online, and now Brutus supporters, they stepped forward to get the mascot back on his feet. Eclipse Corp of Gehanna restored Brutus, strengthening his legs with extra fiberglass and painting his clothes and head in a glossy finish. Workers marked Mark Shell and David Miller placed him back on the original spot yesterday morning, anchoring Brutus into place with secure fasteners. College Traditions owner Kelly Dawes said if it wasn't for NBC4 story, she wouldn't have found help. He's been our welcomer. He's been, uh, you know, the ambassador of this place for so many years and people really enjoy getting their picture taken with him and um, just a great, great novelty to have. We are so blessed that so many people came and, you know, said we have the uh, capabilities to do this and if it wasn't for Channel 4, we, we would have been lost. So, so happy we could help them with that. Brutus came to the store in 2008, part of an initiative by Ohio State University to raise money for the William Oxley Thompson Library, known as Thompson Library today at the top of the oval there. College Traditions paid $20,000 for Brutus at the time as part of the fundraiser, Brad. Yeah, I think everybody around there is happy to have him back. I think they're celebrating him today. So. Absolutely. There you go. I appreciate it, Christine. Thank you for the latest news, weather, sports, 24-7. Make sure you visit NBC4i.com. You can also stay connected while you're on the go. Free NBC4 News app is there. Download it today, Apple or Google Play stores.